do you want access to the most up-to-date base map within ArcGIS Enterprise? The Community Map of Canada is a vector base map with content provided by authoritative Canadian sources, updated daily and published bi-weekly. This vector base map can be used to accentuate your community in your web apps and is available to all Esri customers. My name is Mara and I am a GIS analyst on the Community Maps team at Esri Canada. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can add the Community Map of Canada vector base map to Portal. You can follow these steps yourself by referencing the blog, adding the Community Map of Canada vector base maps to Enterprise. First, verify that you are signed in and have the correct privileges to share content with your organization. This includes checking both your user type and role. Within Portal, open Map Viewer. This table of REST URLs summarizes the data required for each style of the Canadian Vector Base Map. You can access these links within the corresponding blog post. There are currently five different styles of the Community Map of Canada. In this example, I am going to demonstrate adding the Streets Base Map to Enterprise, which consists of two REST URLs. I have already opened these links, and I will now add them to Map Viewer using Add Layer from Web. Simply click Add, Add Layer from Web. Now, for each base map layer, I am going to move the layer into the base map. Remove any default base map layers. Reorder the layers as appropriate. And for visual purposes, rename the layers. You may have already noticed some visual errors. For example, labels are overlapping and the colors are not correct. To fix these issues, we must update the base map styles for both layers. Vector base maps have styles applied to the underlying data. Each style must be applied to the data set to set up the correct color scheme and to turn off the overlapping labels. Save the styles for both base map layers. Saving the style will create a new item in the web map, save the style to your content, as well as name the layer. Next, save the web map with a searchable name and meaningful tags. Navigate to the style sheets within the publicly available ArcGIS Online group, the Community Map of Canada JSON style files. In this example, I will need to download the streets and streets background styles. Save the file locally and unzip. Within Portal, browse to the web map component of your existing application and go to the item details page of one of the base map layers. On the right hand side of the page, select update. When the Update Style File window appears, choose your newly saved style file. You will have to repeat this step for all base map layers.
When finished, open your previously saved web map to see the changes updated. Now that the Street Vector base map has been added to Portal, we can add it to the base map gallery to access it within any web map. To do this, go to the Group tab and click Create Group. Type in a name, summary, description, and tags for the group. Be sure to leave Who can view this group set to Everyone public. This is needed so everyone using MapViewer will have access to the base maps. Now that the group is created, share the base map layers and web map to the group. At the top of the site, click Content. Within the My Content tab, check the box next to the title of the items to share and click Share. Within the Share window, select the group and Everyone Public. Finally, change the map settings to specify the group created as the base map gallery for the portal and choose one map from the base map gallery to be the default base map. Verify that you are signed in as the default administrator or custom role with administrative privileges to manage the organization website. Open the organization page in the portal website. Click the settings tab. Select map to open the page to configure map viewer. Choose your base map group from the base map gallery drop down list. If you would like to access the default Esri base maps from the base map gallery, be sure to check Share the Esri default base maps to this group when you click Save. Select one of the base maps from the default base map drop down list. Choose the base map that will be used most frequently by your organization. Select Save to apply your changes. The default base map is the base map that is present when you first open Web Map Viewer. Now, when anyone opens a new map in Map Viewer, the default base map you specified is present. When the base map gallery is clicked within Map Viewer, the maps from the new base map group you created are displayed. You can update the thumbnails for web maps to help your users visually choose a Canadian base map. And there you have it. The Community Map of Canada is now easily accessible within your enterprise organization. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like this video and feel free to leave any comments and or suggestions below. Lastly, if you would like to see more Esri Canada demos, you can subscribe to our channel using the subscribe button below the video. Explore your community on the Community Map of Canada today.